thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Indiana Sports Connection, your fans' perspective of everything having to do with the Indianapolis Colts and Indiana sports and Indiana Hoosiers. Let's get right into talking about the Indianapolis Colts. What is going to happen today? The Colts tee off in about an hour. Tee off. They, they kick off in about an hour from now. And a lot riding on this game. And we all know how the Colts have performed when they've played the Jacksonville Jaguars in the past. So how can the Colts get over that hump and beat the Jacksonville Jaguars at Jacksonville? I'm going to tell you all of those points and more on this episode. But first, let's thank our sponsor, Reynolds Wrap. Reynolds Wrap is a fine American product made in the USA, saves you time, which is the most important thing. On game day, when you're trying to save time during that halftime and get all of your food and everything put away or wrapped up, use Reynolds Wrap. Get back to the game quicker. Reynolds Wrap, thank you to them for sponsoring the channel. Now let's get right into talking about the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars and what the Colts have to do today. First off, I want to say I have been to Jacksonville many times. I've been there about five times to a game there. Um, I lived in Florida for about four or five years. I will say they have some of the most delightful fans. I've never had this happen to me at an NFL game. The One of the first or second time I went to a game there, me and my uncle were standing in the line to get uh, some beer and food and stuff like that. And guy in front of us turns around with two cups, turns around because we were talking in the line saying like how nice the stadium was and how cool it was to be there and everything like that. Jacksonville fan turned around, just handed us two beers just like that. So I've had good experiences there. Also going to games there, many times I've heard the chant, Peyton Manning sucks. And we have to think about this. When Manning was on our team, we dominated this team. There were very few times they beat the Colts. So I can see why they really hated that guy. Another time I was there, a guy right beside me with all Jacksonville Jaguars stuff on, he tells me, he's like, man, I, I really like the Colts. He's like, I root for the Colts, you know, besides the Jaguars. I'm a Jaguars fan, but he said he was a Manning fan. So I've always had great experiences going to the games there at Jacksonville. In recent years, the Colts cannot seem to eke out a victory there. It's going to be all come down to the offensive line. I'm looking at you, Quentin Nelson, Ryan Kelly, and Bernard Ryman is back from the concussion injury this week. So with that, we do have one person out, Braden Smith, who's been dealing with like a hand wrist injury. He is going to be out this week. I guess he is dealing with not only the hand and wrist, but he's dealing with kind of like a hip injury as well. So he is not going to be out there playing for the Colts today. I don't know who the backup is. I don't know if uh, Freeland, who has been playing at left tackle, if he's going to go over and play right tackle or if they have another person that fills in for right tackle. I, I wish I should have looked that up, um, but we're going to see that when the game starts. Freeland, although I ripped on him in the first game as being not doing very well against the Rams, which that was a tough, tough battle, but... I would say he has not had many any penalties. I don't think any holdings or bad penalties, and he's held his own in there for a guy who was drafted, I think, in the fifth round, who was really was expected to be kind of a project left tackle. Guy came in and played, I mean, halfway decent for a couple of games. So you really can't, uh, if he's back out there today, he's at least been out there for a few weeks getting to the hardest thing about offensive line play is the continuity. I mean, the five guys all have to really communicate on who's blocking who, whether you're going to block left, whether you're going to block right, what making all the, the gap calls on the line. Offensive line play is one of the most complex parts of the system of the football team in itself. Those five guys have to be tied together and they have to all be tied together. And today, they are definitely going to have to be tied together because Jacksonville has dominated our offensive line and made us look like fools. We didn't run well against them at home. That's going to be the big key. 
Can Zach Moss and Jonathan Taylor break through that line and get Ryman, Kelly, and Quentin Nelson on some double teams on the left side or get uh, Quentin Nelson out pulling on the right side? Like The Colts are going to have to mix it up. They are going to have to run the ball. And Gardner Minshew, this is Gardner Minshew's revenge game going against the Jaguars. I mean, we all knew the Jaguars were not going to play Gardner Minshew when they have the great Trevor Lawrence. So offensive line play and defensive line play, but offensive line play is going to play a huge part of this game. And whether or not the Colts can get the victory today, it would be a huge win. I got to look back. I mean, the Colts have not won there in years, and, and it's not even been close honestly, a lot of times. So the Colts are going to have to, they're going to have to break, break up some holes and get, and that's a lot easier said than done because I've seen how this deep, the interior defensive line of the Jaguars has just like really sidestepped. And when I rewatched the last game, there were not a lot of holes and even though Deion Jackson, but that's another part of this game. When Jacksonville saw, saw us the first time, we had Deion Jackson playing. Now they're going to have to see Zach Moss, who's gotten his feet wet, and also Jonathan Taylor, who's one of the best running backs in the league. So we got more firepower coming this time. I think we're healthier this time. I think we also are going to have maybe better continuity on our offensive line this time. And also Minshew is going to get the start from the beginning and uh it's just going to be a, a different type of game than we saw in at indianapolis so those are my keys to the game braden smith out also zay jones out for jacksonville that's a big loss for them so that's almost like one for one i mean really all right tackles out one of their good receivers is out so colts one o'clock in jacksonville Hopefully, we can get the victory. Um, I'm just going to be realistic. I, I'm not thinking that this is like a must-win game. This is going to be a very, very difficult game for the Colts to win for a lot of different reasons. But at some point, something's got to give. If we can get some blocks and double-team blocks on some of their defensive tackles and be able to push them around a little bit and get some running lanes then everything changes for the Colts. Can we do that today? Can we dominate a team that has dominated us on in the offensive line and defensive line in these past matchups? We're going to find out, out today. And great game by Notre Dame. What a great bounce back game by Notre Dame last night. Watch that whole game. And Caleb Williams, if you want to see what Caleb Williams is going to look like when he's under a lot of pressure in the NFL, that's it right there. Now, he did run around and almost brought them back to being in the game. And Notre Dame was able, they have no good defense at all. So he practically has to score every time. But I thought a really great bounce back game for Notre Dame. That uh, Just a really fun game to watch. And you get to see a little bit. Notre Dame just blitzed this guy like all the time and he got just completely out of sorts right from the beginning just throwing three interceptions in the first half was a really fun game to watch and I'm not even going to mention the Indiana game because they got I stopped watching the game when Indiana was ahead seven nothing to Michigan and I took a picture of the score and I uh stopped watching it right then so Indiana gets schlacked by Michigan. That's exactly what we expected. That was the predictable game. The only uh, question on that game was how many points was Michigan going to score. But go Colts today. I will do a video after the game and we'll talk about everything that happened with the Colts during the game. Working on some new stuff for the channel and a new intro and just a lot of stuff I'm working on for this channel. This is your fan's perspective. Subscribe to the channel if you're here for the first time and uh, give the video a thumbs up 
comment down below, leave me a comment. I love to hear your comments and I will respond to every comment on this channel. And I may live stream the game today at noon, but we'll just see, I have to mow my lawn and I also have some other things I have to do at six o'clock later on. So I gotta get to the mattress store and sell those mattresses, but thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Go Colts today. And I'm gonna stop rambling here and turn this off. We'll see you after the game.